Having trouble with your rear caliper whilst fitting the rear wheel? Well, today we're going to show you how to fix that. Get in! So what we've got with the rear caliper hanger is uh, that it just kind of comes off. It just slots in this groove so that it can slide back and forward when you're adjusting your wheel. But most of the time when you're trying to fight spaces in the back wheel, or mess around with this, it's just a bit of a pain. So what we're going to try and do is uh, captivate it. What we're going to do is drill through this side, the back side, I don't know if you can see my finger, or maybe the end of Sharpie pen. And then that will line up, keep everything lined up to then screw into, we'll thread into the carrier for the caliper. Stick a little tiny bolt through, and then hopefully it should just retain the caliper nicely. That's a theory. Or the Will it happen? It's one way to find out. Get fucked. Well, what, what is that? Is that? Oh no. That's a bit of a torx. <laughs> Why is that in there? Oh, how have we not noticed that before? Uh. Well, anyway, let me put some holes yeah. in my bike. Let, let's, let's, yeah. So, nice and square. Right. Not your forte. Square. Okay. Need that bump. Is it? Looks pretty goo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking it off doing it. The pillow would be ideal, but we ain't got one. Yeah. It's one of them ones. I'm, I had one. I just don't know where it went. Where it went. Yeah, it's an unusual thing to say about a pillar drill, but... Yeah. Looks good in there. Hmm. If you've gone through enough... I'm just trying to see. I think we may have... So we should then be able to... Pull it, get the caliper off and pull it. Pull it, yeah. Cool. So then... Magic! Let's get to this. Look at all this swarf everywhere. Mm. It's the best thing for bearings. Uh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So what we've got now is a through hole through this, lined up with the hole on the actual carrier. And what we'll do is uh, drill a little bit more depth into this and then tap it. Seen those mad fancy drill taps? Mm. They look like they go really wrong really quick. You just end up with pissed threads quickly. So yeah, oh we're gonna have to open up the hole on that because to get uh, the head through. Yeah, we've drilled for tapping the size, but the rest of the bolt is bigger. Um, bam, 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 bam. Oh, she look a ghoul. She look a ghoul. That being said, we could be able to finagle it. Hey, yeah, I just mean that, that bolt will not go through a full mill hole. Ah, uh, yeah, of course it won't. Impossible. I knew that, I was just testing your down. Well done, give yourself yesterday off. Gold star for me. Yeah. Uh, with that. Where's my girl? That's. Didn't you throw the box away yesterday? Uh, no, that was the old ones because they had like a 10mm and a 2.5mm in it. And I just keep Ideal. Many ideal. Yeah. Not that I didn't believe him, but I didn't believe him. Oh, that's a new challenge. Okay. Mm. Yeah, if there's more meat on the outside, we could just make a massive hole, but you see, we don't really want to do yeah. that. No. It's a little bit of fiddling here, and it's not really going to have to come out again. It's still got to keep screwing ears happy, doesn't it? Yes. So, 
through. We get this, I get this through and in. And that'll give us. Is she biting? She is now. That's it. I'm not going to do it tight. Let's just, just for a second, let's get the axle back in. Because then we know everything's true to the axle at least. With our super precise machine drilling. Yes. So she locked in. Cool. So that's all in there. So the caliper carrier is now screwed to the adjuster, which can't fall off the swing arm. Great right. success. Uh, just tight enough. We'll just lock tight it, I reckon. But now, get rid of the axle. We have a. It's only going to be as rigid as the adjuster, but yeah, well, at least it can't fall off and flap yeah. around now. Well, let's chuck a wheel in it and find out. Let's just a see. So it can't fall off. There you go. I'm a mile away. So that was my worry, and it goes in, and then it goes in, so I can look at the chain and stuff on this side. And not have to think about it. Ha! Like it. That might just be the best mod you can do to your motorcycle <laughs> ever. If you change a lot of wheels, which anything like last meeting, we change a lot of wheels. We are Unrestricted Isle, a group of bikers that love riding bikes, watching bikes and racing bikes. We also point a lot of cameras around while we're doing it so we can bring you along. We believe that everyone should have access to the racing. That's why we've been live streaming all throughout TT and we'll be back for the Manx Grand Prix and Southern 100. But on that you can also follow our racing as Taylor on the left there, Blake on the right, build towards their dream of having a go on the 37.73 mile course. They're both currently at club level, but working towards national, and we'll be bringing you along for the journey, so make sure you subscribe. You won't find any adverts around here, so if you want to support the channel, feel free to pick up some merch from the links in the description below. We've got hoodies, tees, stickers, patches, you name it. Wow. And we started on the road and we're still there, enjoying the unrestricted speed limits of the Isle of Man. So follow on and ride safe, not slow.